Hi friends, this is Denario Research and today I want to talk about the most annoying thing uh, that may happen to cryptocurrency trading. Exchange crash. As you know, my primary exchange is Polonix and it starts to drive me crazy. In this video, I want to share my observations and suggestions about Polo crashes. Also, I encourage you to share your thoughts on it. I do not want to blame Polonix in scam and fraud. I want to share circumstances under which Polonix becomes unavailable and try to understand how to save money stored on exchange account. This year has brought many people to crypto world. More and more boys and girls decided to invest or trade cryptocurrencies. I remember times when Polo had less than 5000 online users. And now it exceeds sometimes 50,000 users, excluding API traders like bots. Of course, IT infrastructure suffers under users' pressure. Sometimes you may see it when your action is lagging on Polo, like you are trying to place an order and placement delays. Actually, it is not a big deal if such things happen when you try to place a landing order or limit order on a spot exchange. But when such things happen uh, on a margin trading, that is a real shit. Margin trading was always dangerous and risky, even on stock exchanges or forex. Traders frequently overestimate their capabilities, overlook risk management principles and take bigger leverage they can afford. Cryptocurrency world has made margin trading even riskier. It is a place where big leverage meets high volatility. But Polo has made this mix even more dangerous by adding lag. Let me give you an example. Assume that you have opened position. You are trading in range. You see that price bounces from support level and you have opened long position. Your take profit is somewhere close to resistance level and stop loss is somewhere below support level. But you can close your position only with a market order. And even your stop or loss order will be executed at market price. And now you are in the middle of huge price movement, like downtrend in our case. And price triggers your stop loss order and goes further, further and further. Your stop loss order may be executed at price that differs by 20 or 30 percent from your actually expected stop loss price. So your order may be executed at this point, here or even here. Or you may get a margin call and look at your account liquidation. Or even worse, you can lose access to Polonix and observe this message. I have stopped to trade on margin at Polo a few months ago after first ripple pump and I do not plan to return to margin trading until Polo confirms that problem is fixed. I recommend you also staying away from margin trading for some time if you want to save your money. And that is a total fuck when you can't even connect to exchange and see what is going on. To defend themselves, Polonic has made this press release where they say that their infrastructure can't handle so many users. But problems started to happen not at 50k online users, like happened at 15k and 5k also. Who has created their infrastructure? Schoolboys after classes? I do not understand the problem. Personally, I have spent in IT many years and have seen systems with uh, more users than Polo has now. And most of these systems had no problems with scalability. 
more users, more resources. Why Polar can't fix that problem and instead blames users? These users make a big profit to exchange. Look at their daily turnover. Only in the past 24 hours it was about 56 million only in dollars. And Polar takes 0.05% commission from this amount. And it was more than 2.5 million per day. They make enough money to fix any scalability problem. But why it is not yet done? This reminds me a story about popular few years ago cryptocurrency exchange MTGOX. Its chief executive officer Mark was brilliant developer but horrible manager. And according to the insider information, he was the only person who could approve any change to IT infrastructure and code. It is not actually a task for chief executive officer. Of course, change requests were waiting for approval for many weeks, and consequently empty GOX collapse. I want to hope that CEO of Polonix Tristan D'Agosta has learned this lesson, and there is some reason why Polo is waiting with infrastructure upgrade. But things become more suspicious when you match market events and downtimes. April 2nd and May 8th were the days where Ripple was actively pumped. But suddenly when price was on a peak, exchange became unavailable for serving orders. Traders were unable to buy or sell neither Ripples nor any other coins. Once access was restored, panic sell and dump happened and margin traders lost their money. It couldn't be a coincidence. I don't have evidence to blame Polo that the crash was intentional, but it looks very suspicious. Also, exchange was unavailable on July 1st. Consequences were the same, but this case was among many when Polo said nothing about their outage like it never happened. Typically you can see in their tweets messages about high user activity or DDoS attacks. But I don't think that their clients like such silence. If you have proofs of other Polo outages, please share this information in the comments to the video. Polonix is one of the biggest cryptocurrency exchanges in the world by volume and list of pairs. They make millions per day. Polo is a legal entity in the United States and it pays taxes. Many traders around the globe trust it, but the reason of such weird behavior and unreliable service is unclear. In this video I have shown pieces of evidence of Ron Polonik's behavior that I have noticed by myself. I guess there are some other cases I am not aware of. If you want to share more information, comment this video. People must know if the exchange they trust turns into scam. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos and leave your questions in the comment section below. Bye.